The story of promoted teams is always very familiar. They come up, they come up with great expectations, they often have a good start, but in the end they fade away. Look at Blackpool last season. Now Blackpool stormed the Premiership. At one stage it was considered, you know, Blackpool had this magic formula. And then when they had the fall, the fall was so dramatic that it couldn't be stopped. And I think the problem with promoted teams are that while they might have a good start, once they hit if you like, a mental block, like a bit like the marathon runner, they don't recover from that. They can suddenly have seven, eight, nine, ten matches losing. So I'm afraid all three promoted teams um, will possibly um, struggle to stay in. But I think the one team of the three that you mentioned, Swansea, Norwich and QPR, I suspect QPR have the best chance. And I say this because they have a new owner in Tony Fernandez. They have um, the son-in-law of Lakshmi Mittal, the richest man in Britain, also backing it. And I think they have that sort of money power that can ensure they get the right players at the right time. And, and the manager, Neil Warnock, should not be underestimated. He's a man who wants to prove that he can make it in the Premiership. He's getting old, as he once told me. This is his last chance to make it in the Premiership. And while they might have had a bit of a stuttering start, I would fancy them of the three teams to stay up. Swansea and Norwich, I think, will find it a bit more problematical. Well, of course, with Delia in charge, Norwich could always produce a wonderful um, cuisine that could bewitch the Premiership, but I think that's unlikely.